איתנו באולפן בנו של יוסלה, הנרי רוזנבלט, שהגיע במיוחד לקונצרט ההצדעה לאביו. שבוע טוב, הנרי. ברוך הבא. Welcome. This is your second visit in Israel. You first came here in 1933 with your father. It was his first and last visit to Israel. That's right. What do you recall of that visit? That visit was most important to my father's whole life. <clears throat> His greatest dream, because he made the picture, the dream of my people here in Eretz Israel, <clears throat> was to be in Israel and live here for the rest of his life. And, but he never had the opportunity of coming to this marvelous background, this great country, which I call a great country, and he felt, of course, that strong. So he asked me when we uh, would r arrive on the Volcania, and we would arrive in Haifa, that I please knock at the window to wake him up, no matter what time. And so I woke him up at six o'clock in the morning. I said, Papa, there's Hadar Carmel. You better come out. And as he came out, the tears were rolling down his eyes. And he was saying to him, he couldn't believe that he's an Eretz Israel. And this was his whole life, no matter what he did. Henry, your father always dreamed of Israel. And how? And with that visit here, he fulfilled an old dream. Do you remember if and how he used to express his love for Israel? Through his music, every time. For example, he would sing a song called Bam Kosor Marovi. And it would, I mean, tell the story of how Zion was, uh, I mean, separated from her son, the, the children of Israel, and how they should come back to Israel and so forth. But they suffered so much in all those years. I understand that after your father passed away, you took care of his uh, in numerous writings That's and right. work. That's right. I rewrote all the arrangements, new arrangements, because I didn't care for the other arrangements. And my father agreed with me. And that's what we're trying to bring out. In other words, the level of his artistry was not fulfilled by the people who were designated to write the orchestral material for my father's voice. And I figured it needed more than that. And that's what I did. Now something about you. Henry, you were Arthur Toscanini's favorite bass singer. That's right. Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't, you know, now let's not say it was a favorite. I happened to sing the role called the Sacristan in Tosca. And he said to, to the NBC station, I mean, uh, Samuel Shatsanov, who was the general manager, get me this man. Thank you very much, Henry Rosenblatt. We wish you all the best.